Hi everybody, and welcome to the art room. My name is Mr. Triner, this is room H3. If you haven't already figured it out, you may have already stopped by, or you may be coming in another day or two to get a view of the room and get a chance to meet me. So I thought what I'd do is I would put together a, a welcome video that gives you some information. You obviously could share it with your parents. I'm going to as part of my parents' night presentation, but I wanted you to have some basic information, and we're gonna have a chance to get to know each other obviously very well, but let's talk a little bit about this classroom, this school, and how things operate in here. So, as I said, my name is Mr. Triner. I've been teaching here at Hoover High School for, this is my 30th year. So, I guess you could say, yeah, I'm old. Um, I've taught in a variety of buildings in North Canton. I taught at Greentown Elementary. I've taught at the middle school for many, many years. And I've been here at Hoover High School for 22 years. So, art is my passion. Teaching is an art to me, and I feel that it's very important. So, I have a couple different roles in this school. Not only am I an art teacher, I'm the district department chairman for art, which means I'm in charge of working with all of the other art teachers in the district. So if you've had art at Hoover or in North Canton ever, I know all of them and get to meet and talk and discuss with them all the time. They're wonderful people. They all have a special place in my heart. Um, I'm also the district lead teacher, which is just a fancy, big fancy way of saying that I help mentor all of the new teachers who come into the district. So I work with them and their mentors and coordinating and making sure they have a successful year uh, as they start their new career in the art of teaching. So I get to meet with all of the brand new teachers in our district as well. So I have, wear lots of hats and I have lots of jobs, um, but my first love and the thing I've always done the most of is right here, teaching in the art room and specifically in this room, in room H3. Um, there are three things that are really important to me. Number one is your safety. Your safety meaning your health, emotionally, physically, and making sure that you feel comfortable, confident, and feel like you belong in this space because you're gonna spend a lot of time in here. If you're not new to the art room, you know that we spend a whole year together academically. If you're new to the art room and you're taking my Art One course, we're in here for a year together. So it's really important that while you're in here that you're healthy physically and emotionally and that you feel confident and comfortable while you're here. The second thing that's important to me is your learning. I need you to know that learning is important. It takes a secondary seat to your safety, but learning is important. And I feel that not only is your learning important, but that we respect everybody else's learning. Everybody else in here is going to need to learn as well as you do. So I need to respect your learning, but I need you to also respect everybody else's ability to be able to do that. And the third thing for me is really important is your growth. How are you growing not only as an artist, that's really big to me because that's my passion and my love, but also how are you growing as a human being? Are you understanding the protocols that we're putting in place this year that are all brand new to all of us because there's a huge learning curve? And are you respecting each other as human beings? So, and have you grown from where we were? Certainly when this all started in March, we learned and thought in one way, and certainly I think we could all agree that things have dramatically changed now that we're starting school back here in August. So your growth as an artist and a human being is important to me. So those are the three things, safety, learning, and your growth. Those are big for me. Let's talk a little bit about the classroom for a minute. So if you can see behind me, you see there's plenty of room for social distancing. So if you're in my largest class, you can guarantee that there's at least uh, five and a half feet probably away from another human being. In most cases, I've tried to make it six feet. So I'm right now sitting at one classroom table where only two people will be sitting. And you can see behind me, there are more tables in the back. So there should be plenty of room to social distance for everybody in here. I'm gonna let you choose your seat, but you need to know that once you choose that seat, I'm gonna ask that you stay in that seat and be respectful of that. Not only because it's important for when a sub's here or when I'm taking attendance, but the new reality, which is it makes it better for us to understand who you've come in contact with each day as we sort of try to keep keep track of your health and safety. Number two, this little guy here dangling on my wrist is important, a mask. You'll be wearing that when you're in here all the time. I will tell you that I am the first person not to love it any more than the rest of you, but it is a minor inconvenience to have a major uh, comfort in knowing everybody's safe and secure. So I'm gonna need you to understand that this is part of our lives uh, until we hear otherwise. So you are gonna be asked to continue to wear your mask. 
The third thing that's important to know about this room is that we are gonna do everything we can to make sure that we don't share very many supplies. So in a traditional art room, we'd be sharing things all the time. So this year, no matter what grade level or what level of art you're in, art one, art two, honors art three, honors art four, or AP advanced placement art, our college level class, you're gonna be given a bag and we call it a survival pack. So you're gonna see in there, uh, inventory list, a basic inventory list of supplies, and then you're gonna see a bag of supplies. Now you might ask, why is the bag so big? So the bag doubles as two things. It's a bag to keep your supplies in, but it's also a bag that becomes a portfolio so that you can keep any artwork in it, rain or snow or shine, you can keep artwork in it. If we would go to remote learning, you can stick artwork in it, you could fold it in half, and it's now two things in one. It's a storage facility, but it's also a place to put your artwork to get it safely home or wherever we go as we transition to whatever type of learning we have to. New other to the art room this year, and it might not be new for some of you, because I know some buildings have them, we're gonna be doing a touchless hall pass system. So you're gonna see throughout my classroom, QR code. You will need a QR reader. If you have a phone, great. That would work really well to have a QR reader app. If you don't have a phone, you can also get a QR code reader on your Chromebook. And your job is to then scan this with your computer or your phone. I like to use my phone, just like I am right now, but that's up to you. You scan this code and it's gonna ask you a few quick questions. Who's your teacher? Where are you going? In most cases, it's probably the restroom or the attendance office. And if you're going to see another teacher, who's the name of that teacher? It will then spit back to you a screen that tells you this is now your hall pass that will leave you about five minutes of time that you can use to use the restroom or to make visits that you need to. So you'll see these posters up all over the place. So when you ask to leave the room, I'm going to point to the poster and tell you to scan it with your phone or your Chromebook. Just a little new normal that'll guarantee that no one has to touch a sign out sheet or a restroom pass as they need to exit the room. Let's talk about these for a minute. So your job, as I mentioned, my number two priority to you is your learning and the respect of others to learning. So if you're exiting the room a lot and you're using your time for something other than learning, then obviously you're not growing, my third concern, as an artist and you're not growing as a student. So if this becomes a problem and you're using it more to exit the room, then I have to worry about those two things, your learning and your growth. And I actually have to learn about the third one or worry, which is your safety. So safety, learning, and growth are always important to us. So restroom passes are a little new, but not that bad. The last thing I need you to know is throughout my room, you'll see a bunch of posters, and it's sort of my mantra that I live by, and I call it grit, growth, and gratitude. The reason why I say grit, growth, and gratitude is that life will always be a challenge. If you are in the game of life, there are things that are gonna present you with a challenge. Your job is to figure out how to overcome those challenges, manage those challenges, whether they're small, like learning how to walk on the correct side of a hallway, like making sure that you can tolerate keeping a mask on. That's part of being gritful, being aware that you need to be responsible to overcome challenges, no matter how big or how small they are. The second thing on that list is growth. Growth to me is, am I trying to make improvement from where I am? You're all going to come in as artists, you're all gonna come in as human beings at one point. And my hope is through your experience and working with me, and I know that my experience working with you, I hope to grow. Because every year I've taught, all 30 years, I've learned a little something from somebody. And it's taught me how to be the best teacher I can be. And the last one is gratitude. If I'm not thankful for you, and I'm not thankful for what you bring every day, I can't get through and do the other two things. And I also can't be grateful for the fact that I've been able to accomplish a lot because of how much grit I have. So you'll hear me say those three words a lot. You'll hear me say those in probably some of the most challenging times I have. I've committed to that mantra of growth, grit, and gratitude. I hope you'll see that it's important to you because to me in the end, it's about being better, being tough, and being thankful. I hope you have a great year. We're gonna do a lot of wonderful art making together. So I know it's gonna be great. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing human beings again in person, even though you might be masked up. I need you to know that seeing you from here up is still just as important as anything. Being in person and getting to see you and having those experiences. So I look forward to seeing you. I hope you have a great year. I'm ready for one too. See you soon.